Today, I'm gonna show you how you can use the included toolkit from your Axial SCX24, 10 cents, and a can of WD-40 to take this thing's crawling capability to the next level. All right, everybody, so let's get right into it with step number one. Step number one, you are going to need the only tool for the entire process, which is the included Allen wrench that came with the truck. You do not need to remove the body. I did so in this case just for ease of filming. In your case, you can leave the body on. What you're going to do is start by removing the two fasteners that are on the frame rails that hold the bumper support bracket to the truck. Once you have this removed, you're going to need to be careful of the wires, but there is plenty of slack on them to make it easy to work with. And you're going to need to get at the two fasteners that actually attach the front bumper to the front bumper bracket. Go ahead, back those out and set them aside. So the objective here is to raise the front bumper. So now that we have the bumper detached from the bumper bracket, what we're going to do is we're going to flip that bracket over, which is going to give us several millimeters more clearance. The reason why I place this as the number one first and most important modification that you can do to this truck for free is simple. If you cannot have your tires make contact with an object, you cannot crawl that object. I don't care how low your center of gravity is. I don't care how great and modified the rest of the truck is. If the tires can't make contact with the object, you are simply not going to get up it. It is just simple physics. So what we're doing here is by raising this front bumper, we're increasing our approach angle, which means we can crawl more stuff. Additionally, you're going to notice there are three optional mounting holes to attach the front bumper to the front bumper bracket. It comes from the factory on the center hole. I recommend using the furthest all the way in as it'll gain you another millimeter of clearance. Alright, now that you've got that bumper flipped and reinstalled, you're going to notice that the body will not close the way it did from the factory. So what you're going to need to do is trim across the bottom so it will close up nice and tight. I find that right below where the grill slats end is about the right height. Start conservative and work your way in. Use a sharp pair of scissors. I find the best is actual body trim scissors. Now, one temptation would be to adjust the body mount post here. The problem with that is it doesn't gain you enough clearance and it makes the body sit at a funny angle. So the second step is we're going to add some weight up front on top of the steering servo. Got several options here. Really anything that will fit will work. But a couple easy ones are a 5 gram ceiling fan blade balancing weight with an adhesive back are readily available and they're very cheap. They fit perfectly and they come free with any ceiling fan that you or a friend have ever installed. So. If you do down the road, make sure to ask somebody to hang on to them for you. They're great to have in a drawer. A nickel will work perfectly. Use some glue, some two-sided tape, whatever works. The only thing that you're going to want to make sure of is that once you have this placed, that before you adhere it to the servo, that you make sure you've got clearance for the suspension to travel, that you're not either hitting on the frame rails or on the inner chassis. Uh, specifically the electronics or the body mount posts. But once you've got it preset, you've tested it for clearance, you're good to go. All right, so in step one, we raised the front bumper so now we can get our tires onto objects. In step two, we added weight to the front servo so we can keep the tires down on the object. And in step three, we're gonna soften the rubber up on these tires just a bit. They're really good from the factory, but they can be a little tackier. They can have a little more stickiness to them. Take some WD-40, apply it to a paper towel, wipe it onto the tires, put them in a plastic Ziploc bag, set them on your counter, check them periodically throughout the day for softness. 
remove them when they are at the point that you're comfortable.